The competition is part of the national campaign to raise money and encourage men to talk about their health. With a mo, it's like a, a visual thing. It gets people talking. Like um, at school, every single kid has come up to me and say, why, why are you growing a mow? You look ridiculous. So it's been a really good talking point. Team leader Ben Murphy says too many men are neglecting their health because they feel uncomfortable talking about it. It's more so about a lot of stigma. It's a sign of weakness to be talking about your feelings and emotions. So that's why we just want to try and encourage all men, no matter how well you're travelling, um, to start the conversation and just to talk to your mates or just be that listening ear to support one another. The teachers have been attracting plenty of attention around the schoolyard. Calling me names, Mario is a good one. They love calling that. The latest figures say that prostate cancer rates have doubled in the last 15 years. While the number of men diagnosed with testicular cancer has increased by 50% over the last five decades. And mental illness is also taking its toll. Three out of four suicides worldwide or men is definitely a very confronting statistic. Um, and definitely with our staff group, um, you look at teaching as a profession, it's a rather stressful um, environment to sometimes be in. So we just want to make sure we're starting conversations. And as far as who's leading the race? I have to say John Ford for sure. Um, mate, his moustache is absolutely shocking. So. Um, yeah, not sure what he's trying to do, but it's looking really ugly at the moment, yeah. The boys will be accepting donations until the end of the month. Thomas Carr, Win News.